we're going to work with a few different what I'm going to call elements of illumination. And the first one is an acanthus leaf. Now this is actually a Xerox copy of an acanthus leaf that I put on the on the on the copy machine. So it might not look like much, but it's actually a this is the true to life shape of the acanthus leaf. And I do think that it is slightly reduced. The actual uh, real life acanthus leaf is is something that um, you know throughout the history of art, it's been considered uh, just this beautiful f- shape. Okay, it's almost it's, it almost has a feathery like uh, uh, posture to it, and so it's used in architecture as a deco- decorative element in architecture on uh, columns and so on. And it's also used a great deal in illumination. And so what's happened with the idea of the acanthus leaf is that it has it's taken on all these different creative uh, looks. And it has been wildly colored. So, so you can look at some an acanthus leaf and you can start with the idea of a, of a black and white drawing. Um, here, actually, I have some samples of traced acanthus leaves from different illuminated manuscripts. And I call them decorative elements because basically all they're meant to do is to enrich and color the page. So they don't really have much of a symbolic meaning other than maybe life is rich or life is beautiful, but they've become so beautifully stylized and so you find them in different illuminated manuscripts being rendered in very different ways. Now this is very, this is a, actually an insert of a kind of um, an envelope for stationery and this is a very, Ita- very Italian design. And this is all the, you know, uh, takeoff on the idea of the acanthus leaf.